Okay guys, so this is my teardrop camper and as you've seen in the thumbnail, this video is about my top five favorite things that I love about this teardrop camper. And um, some of these things, they turn out really good by coincidence and some of them on purpose. So I wanna show you my top five and it's been hard to narrow it down because there's so many great things about this tiny little camper. Uh, it's so convenient, but um, yeah, let's dive right in and let's start with number five. Oh okay, guys, so I almost forgot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any suggestions for what you wanna see next, you should uh, put that below in the comment section. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, so number five. Number five for me is definitely gonna be the water system. Having running water and uh, being able to clean your hands, uh, do some dishes and not the biggest stuff of course but uh, having running water is a really big convenience and it makes the cooking and uh, cleaning up after uh, so much more uh, convenient um, so that's really 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 handy and this one can be adjusted to the height that, uh, that you need and uh, the water pump in here is a 12 volt uh, water pump and it actually just turns on when you uh, turn on the water and then it's off but then of course you're gonna fill the water up too. So uh, let's use one of these and let me show you. So here on this side, we have the water filler. This is just a standard uh, filling tap, filling connection, I guess. So it makes it so easy to just fill up the water. And this way, I don't feel that I have to have a super big water tank and it makes it possible to just have something relatively small. So in my case, I have 12 liters of fresh water. That's about three gallons. So it's not a lot, but it makes it easy to have more water stored in the car. But then you're thinking that you gotta empty the water too, right? Yeah, so the water is in here. And we can see the water level here on the fresh, fresh water. And then the gray water seen through here. So emptying this one, it's just a matter of pulling this rope and turning this uh, this little tap here to the other side. And then it comes out here through the bottom. Over here. Okay, number four, the electrical system. Let's start in the kitchen because this is the, the easy part. Mike, over here I have a 12 volt outlet for charging phones, uh, power bank, uh, small fan, anything like that. And over here I have 230 volt AC. So this is powered by the inverter in the camper. So having um, both 12 volt and AC power in the kitchen is really good if I wanna use like a small blender or something like that. And inside the camper, the electrical system is pretty much the same. On the left, I have the 12 volt outlet. And on the right, I have both a 12 volt and a 230 volt. AC outlet. So there's outlets almost everywhere. There's one more 12 volt outlet here in the back. And all of this connects to my electrical system that's down here. And uh, here we also have a bunch of tools, but all of this is powered by one module from a BMW i3 battery pack, the 60 amp hour one. So this is about 2.7 kilowatt hours of power in here and uh, that's gonna last me about four or five days depending on how much I use uh, the heating that is also easy to charge that's a big thing so this one only needs uh, plugging in with a uh, shore adapter to um, AC power and then it charges right up in about three and a half four hours okay so number three number three is this uh, amazing floating table and I looked at a few designs before I decided to make it um, um, suspended from the, from the walls with four ropes. And I were considering getting something with a slide out mechanism that would pull out from under here, but it wouldn't reach far enough. And I considered putting something on the wall with hinges, but it wouldn't be big enough. And um, maybe something with legs, I considered that, but it would be in the way and it would be hard to get in and out or turning around in here. So I decided for this design and it is really easy to remove it 
is held up with four carabiners so it's easy to clip out and then it will slide in let me show you from here to over here and let me show you what that looks like okay so this is what the table looks like when it's stored away and like you see here it sticks out about 10 or 12 centimeters so it's enough to put some small stuff on here and um, there is a bit of gap on top of it so my laptop can slide in there and it doubles as a small shelf when it's not used as the table okay so number two the backrest it is uh, again it's, it's a close one to the number one but uh, yeah number two the backrest it is so comfortable sitting in here and just relaxing uh, having a breakfast lunch dinner or whatever even watching a movie watching movies in here is great it is so cozy and with the backrest it gets uh, it's really comfortable it's, it's that it's like i've seen people who have campers and their their front wall it goes like this it's just straight flat and i'm thinking like how could you sit there so having a backrest that's uh, on an incline makes being in the camper so much more comfortable so yeah sitting in there either watching a movie or just um, enjoying the view from in there okay so number one I mean we're back here I'm cooking dinner and uh, I want to show you the kitchen having an outdoor kitchen that um, gives you practicality and luxury in a way but it also forces you to be out in nature it is uh, it's really good, it's uh, number one, definitely. Having the kitchen out here, and the, the hatch, it makes, of a, it makes a small roof over the kitchen area. But I also have attachment points up on the roof, uh, on the hatch, so that over there and over here. So um, I could put a tarp out here and make of a bigger roof back here. So kitchen, yeah, it's, it's really good to have the uh, dual gas burner stove. Um, it's like cooking at home, except I don't have gas at home. So this is almost better than at home. It goes really fast to get the heat on and uh, well, you know, it, it's a gas stove. So yeah, forces you to be out in nature, cooking your food and um, eating real food, you know, like not eating. Uh, if I didn't have this, I would probably live off chips, cookies, candy bars, sneakers, something like that. So the kitchen out here makes it possible to eat real food, real convenient. So yeah. And a uh, small note about the kitchen actually. The kitchen, uh, the doors here are actually, I made them sliding doors with um, aluminum um, checker plate or what it's called. So that, that's a good way to handle the heat. It's easy to clean. It doesn't open over the the, the kitchen area, so it doesn't like intrude on anything, anything. And how I lock them like that. Let's see, so that's how I lock them, and it works really good. It keeps stuff in place. But then I was thinking, like, what about in the middle? So I don't want to have. So I don't want two tracks for the door. So there's no door over here. Yeah, that's not supposed to be in the food. Probably. So I got these uh, rubber bands and um, they seem to keep stuff uh, in place there. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and if you've been watching this far, um, thumbs up for you and uh, I hope you like this video. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of this kind of content, you should subscribe to my channel on here. So yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in the next.